Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fanner video. So I don't know why people been watching the the, the X Men Rogue vs Apocalypse video. Uh, I don't know if it's because they really like Rogue or they just want to see more X Men fan art. But yeah, here's more X Men fan art. All right, so yeah, uh, here's 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 a uh, one from a while ago where I did basically characters that have similar powers so they both have uh i don't know they both cause vertical <laughs> pretty much yeah so the uh, vertical is from the marvel she's actually part of the marauders and i believe she's a savage land mutant uh, or is a savage land mutant i don't uh yeah but definitely she's apparently affiliated with the marauders and she's fighting count vertical from the dc all right I think he showed up in uh, one of the Arrowverse shows, but yeah, or a version of him. All right, and here we got Deadpool versus Hal Jordan. Uh, it's pretty simple. They are uh, both played by Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, so again, I I also did silly crossovers like this where it's oh it's the same actor. All right. Yeah, definitely Green Lantern would annihilate Deadpool. Green Lantern is way super stronger, for sure. Even though Ryan Reynolds does regret making the Green Lantern movie, I thought it was all right. Def uh, yeah, definitely better than the Wolverine origin story with the really weird version of Deadpool. But the new Deadpool movie is definitely super good. And Deadpool 3 is coming out soon. Definitely super psyched for that. And here we go. We got the reference image from DC versus Marvel Superman versus Juggernaut. So uh, I'd like to think it turned out pretty okay, but uh, maybe not. But yeah, uh, I feel like Superman is so super extremely powerful. He probably would annihilate Juggernaut and most of uh, <laughs> the Marvel Universe, honestly. There's probably very few you could take him on. I don't know, like probably some like the more powerful ones like Hyperion, Sentry, you know, obviously based on Superman. Let's see, uh, Blue Marvel is, he. I think he's also ultra powerful, but uh, he's not as, he, I don't know, I don't really see him as in as many comics maybe, but I feel like when Sentry came out, he was like, oh yeah, he's the Marvel Superman, he's super ultra powerful, and there's been like, like a million versions of Hyperion and yeah there's there and Gladiator I don't know if he's super ultra powerful but uh, he's also has some similar Superman powers type going on but I feel like uh, he's not as strong maybe I don't know but he's off in space with the Shi'ar Empire anyway can we get uh, Gladiator in the MCU <laughs> we get we need everyone oh yeah Icarus is probably pretty ultra powerful because he's like eternal but yeah maybe there are quite a few marvel heavy headers that could take on superman but i feel like definitely juggernaut is not one of them <laughs> and here we got scarlet witch versus zatanna because you know they have a uh, similar powers magic users but uh definitely feel like scarlet witch would win this one because she has like massive reality altering powers she created a whole alternate universe with the house of m and she, i think she created her children just just out of magic yeah so definitely i feel like she would definitely beat zaytana but who knows maybe zaytana is also extremely powerful magician all right here we got cyclops versus superman it's super silly matchup because superman again like i said would annihilate cyclops he i feel like uh in terms of the x-men who could defeat superman probably phoenix uh, Jean Grey, Phoenix, maybe I don't know if I don't know if Professor X psychic powers is strong enough to take him on. Maybe not. I don't know. Because in DC, they definitely have psychic powers, psychic uh, characters, but it definitely feels like a Marvel thing. More emphasis on the Marvel, well, mostly X Men thing. Because you got Professor X, you got Jean Grey, you got a. Uh, uh, Emma Frost, the main powerful psychics, but uh, I'm sure there's more. And I think like Franklin Richards, he's like ultra powerful psychic, is he? 
Right. Yeah. But yeah, there's a whole Marvel. I feel like Marvel has a lot more psychic powers characters, and DC they're kind of overshadowed. I don't. I don't, they probably have some in DC, but definitely DC, the most popular is there. It's like it's like Superman and Supergirl and like all those super beings with you know flying brick powers, and then you got Wonder Woman and Batman and green lanterns and like yeah not no really uh famous psychics like we got with the x-men are going on here but yeah it's really silly it's just they both shoot red things out of their, their red beams out of their eyes yeah but cyclops uh, concussion blast probably wouldn't even hurt superman but superman would probably incinerate cyclops with his evasion all right we got a very crude drawing of Hope Summer with Cable. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to draw babies. And you can see I got really bad at anatomy. His fingers are all messed up. I don't know what's going on. And we got uh, Cyclops drawing Wolverine. Definitely use a reference image for this. I don't even recognize these costumes. That must be like one of the new... Uh, well, it's not new now, but definitely one of the newer ones. All right. The newer versions yeah and then we got she hulk versus a sentinel definitely she hulk is super ultra strong she could definitely take out a sentinel she's probably strong enough to uh you know take out uh i wonder if she's strong enough to take on juggernaut yeah and quicksilver again we got the avengers version and we got Scarlet Witch, the also Avengers version. This was during the Rick and Morty era where I drew lots and lots of uh, copy-paste editings. Later on, I did try to make a more uh, normal-looking Scarlet Witch as well. Not as good-looking as the Scarlet Witch versus Etana. And we got a multiverse going on. This is what I wanted out of the Doctor Strange to Madness of Multiverse, different, completely different versions of the characters. Here we got the Dragon Ball version, we got the Adventure Time version, we got the Rick and Morty version, we got the Powerpuff Girl version, and we got the Simpsons version, and we got uh, my version. <laughs> you know, my version, my style doesn't even mean anything because I completely draw so differently every single time I draw, and then and I also do lots of tracing. And here we got Wolverine and Blade versus Dracula. Uh, in, I know in the comics, the X-Men do encounter Dracula and vampires quite a bit. There's a, quite a few uh, events where they fight against the vampires. And I think some of the X-Men even turn into vampires. I don't think this was explored in the 90s cartoon. Maybe they'll explore in 97, maybe not, or the MCU, but yeah. And it seems that the, the, was it the director, producer, from 97, he got fired. And he was... It was attached to the Blade Project as well. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully we'll still get a Blade movie. It was originally a TV show and then the movie. But then, yeah. It seems like, uh, yeah, comic book movies. I still love them. Comic book movies, TV shows, cartoons, etc. But it does seem like, uh, yeah, they're having a bit of trouble. But Marvel's still doing way better that compared to DC. At least. Uh, but maybe James Gunn will... Uh, changed uh turned things around for dc right and we got a juggernaut a very bad looking juggernaut his biceps is bigger than his head nearly bigger than his torso what is going on yeah definitely you can tell oh geez from 2016 too like that's like eight years i'm not good at drawing and my newer ones are a little bit better but not much better and here's a rick and morty version juggernaut uh, doesn't look too impressive now his head is huge his head is bigger than his torso <laughs> and his arms is really puny looking and here i try to make a more normal looking juggernaut and not too great either and here's a finally a decent looking juggernaut this is again where i uh for this one i actually did you know the tr uh uh sketch first of a big brawly dude it was probably the hulk or somebody similar and then and i just copy and paste tracing editing and turn it into the other big strong dudes yeah 
So that's why this one, uh, in my opinion, looks a lot better than the other Juggernauts. And we got Magneto. He was part of the Brotherhood. But in the movies, he, well, in the original movies, he's also evil villain. But then he teams up with the X-Men in Days of Future Past. And, and then in the first class movie, and yeah, he's kind of like a good guy and stuff. Yeah, so, but yeah, that's how it is in the comics. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he's evil, etc. So I don't think really he, he really counts as a true villain. Yeah. And we got a better looking version of Magneto where uh, I would probably trace, I mean not trace, I probably did uh, some sketch sketch work. If I trace they will look even more better. But yeah. I should probably like trace Superman and turn him into Magneto for like extremely brolic uh, Magneto even though it's not his uh, power set or whatever. But yeah. And we got Mystique based on the Brotherhood versions, right? Uh, yeah, definitely uh, Mystique and Morph. They both have shape-shifting powers. I don't think I draw on Morph yet, so I probably should draw him in the future. But yeah, this is the only shapeshifter I've drawn so far, and I don't really draw her shape-shifting, but she's more recognizable by her blue skin, which... Jennifer Lawrence hated in the movie, so that's why she ended up being human form, like almost all the movies, which is annoying. Why can't they just, you know, CGI like Thanos or something, which is probably too expensive, which is probably why they just have her in human form. But yeah, instead of the makeup, if they did like CGI, maybe it would it would be better. I don't know. And here's a different Rick and Morty format template where she looks a lot better and we got Quicksilver based on his mo like earlier appearances when he was in the Brotherhood of Evo he had yeah he had green and yellow outfit costume colors uh, but in like the newer comics he's usually like blue gray stuff like that yeah and we got Sabretooth he's also part of the weapon X weapon H weapon plus you know the super soldier thing program same thing as Wolverine and he he I think he was only in the the original movie and the and uh, X-Men Origins yeah I don't think he ever showed up in the the reboots did he hopefully he'll show up in the MCU version and we got the Brotherhood of Evil mutants uh, version of Scarlet Witch, she had like a boxy helmet looking thing. Actually looks not bad, honestly. The costume is not bad. And we got Toad. And he showed up in the first movie and I think Storm annihilated him. And uh, I think he was in, was it the first class or one of the, the Days of Future Pass? Where he's part of the William Striker team. But yeah. I think that was his only appearance in the... He only showed up in two movies, basically, as minor roles, I think. I mean, maybe he is, in the first movie, he was, he was still a villain, a uh, bigger role, but, yeah. And we got Deadpool. Deadpool, everybody loves Deadpool. They're finally making a third Deadpool movie, and it's going to be part of the MCU with uh, the TVA and the time travel and, all the, uh, and timelines and loops and whatever, alternate dimensions and stuff, so interesting. If this is how they're going to fold the MCU and the X-Men movies together. Or it's just going to be completely separate. I don't know. They're just going to draw certain characters into the universe. I don't know how that's going to work. And Hugh Jackman is going to be in it as Wolverine. So that's def definitely super hype for sure. And we got Storm. This is actually based on her f uh, Fantastic Four costume. And here's one with pants on. <laughs> yeah. Of course... And we got Emma Frost. Uh, I don't think uh, we are going to have this version in the MCU. But uh, in the Fox movies, she did have a similar outfit going on. But yeah, this is the outfit she was wearing with uh, the Hellfire Club with Sebastian Shaw. Yeah, so yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, that's exactly what happened in the first class movie. No, was it first class? Yeah, first class movie. Yeah. And we got... And then later on in the comics, she, she got even more <laughs> uh, revealing outfits. We will definitely never ever see those in the MCU, ever. Right. And we got Hulk versus Juggernaut. 
basically just two super strong dudes what is going on with his hand over there it's humongous <laughs> i don't know how to draw i keep on saying that but yeah it should be obvious by now uh and uh, i'm pretty sure hulk did fight juggernaut in the world war hulk and i i feel like hulk definitely in one yeah and we got nightcrawler and mystique i i don't know i definitely used a reference image for this but i don't remember was it from the cartoon maybe but then i drew them as the the version from the 616 but yeah nightcrawler Again, Nightcrawler is one of those characters that I think he only showed up in like one or two movies. Well, yeah, he was assassin in X2, part of the Strikers team. And then I think he was the he, the young version was in maybe... Oh, he probably was in the movies, the, the, the reboot movies, but I don't remember. I mean, I remember seeing him, but I forgot which one was it. Was the Phoenix movie? Couldn't be the only one, could it? Maybe, I don't know. Definitely Mystique had way more role than him, way more movies than him, unfortunately. But yeah, definitely, people were su super high psyched when he was joining the Marvel Strike Force. And I think I already quit the game by then, did I? Yeah, I don't remember unlocking him, so yeah. And we got Goblin Queen Madeline Pryor. Spoilers alert, she's in the X-Men 97 cartoon. Yeah, whoops. Right. <laughs> But yeah, most like I mean, if you're yeah, you're you're most likely you know that already. But she's the clone of Jean Grey and the mom of Cable. All right, yeah. So she didn't have. Yeah, she had similar outfit. I think I don't know. No, but she had long hair in this one. So this one is based on like the comic book image kind of go thing going on. Oh, this one is based on the Sisterhood of Mutants one, right? The, the original one, I think she wears a lot more revealing outfit. And we got Quicksilvers! Quicksilver from the Avengers MCU. We got it from the Fox movie. And we got it from the comic book version. Yeah, so definitely... Oh, shoot, what the hell? Did we already wasted the MCU Quicksilver? I don't know. Uh, are they gonna bring in the fox one because he was pretty cool yeah hopefully they can do it i don't know they they can't just leave quicksilver dead forever right please not <laughs> and we got quicksilver versus kick ass because quicksilver and quick kick ass was played by the same actor uh yeah i don't know if you're aware but kick ass was uh was a movie and but he's just a regular dude so he would definitely get annihilated by quicksilver no contest no no there's no comparison yeah but uh he's he was created by mark miller and the miller world comics the franchise's the ip they're being licensed to netflix and then they did the jupiter's legacy show but everyone hated it and they immediately canceled it which is stupid because why didn't they give it another shot uh, out for season two at least i mean i i watched it i i liked it and the super crooks anime you know i like anime I did not like the anime at all because there's too many freaking flashbacks and like they had that typical anime style where it's like one battle takes like three episodes it was dumb like, it felt like nothing was ever happening yeah so we got Deadpool the X-Force version pretty much pretty similar to the regular Deadpool but a gray and black costume instead and we got Beast where he has the blue fur that's how most of them looks like. He does have pants on, but it's the same color as his skin. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, if you watch the early X-Men 90s cartoons, his pants is almost identical color to his costume. And we got Cyclops. And we got Jubilee. So some, some of these comic cartoon i mean comic versions it was pretty similar to the 90s cartoon design and we got psylocke over here and we got Qui cat quanon revenge she was actually switched bodies with psylocke and then i think they switched back and then here's rogue with the jacket on and jacket off i rogue looks amazing but her hair is super annoying to draw. 
Yeah. But it turned out pretty good. Super good, actually. I feel like it turned out really good. And we got uh, Peter, Peter Rasputin, a.k.a. Colossus, as the Juggernaut, because he did become Juggernaut at some point. Because, you know, it's Juggernaut. Uh, he's not a mutant, actually. He's just a regular dude. I don't know if they changed or not, but uh, he was given the power. He was like the champion of Cytorak using uh he found like a magic gem or something so i guess at some point colossus became the new champion and here we got angel part of the x-men first class comics where he, yeah he was actually one of the original x-men and they had a much simpler design back then and we got the beast the only difference is he has slightly bigger hands yeah so the, the original beast was actually looked like a human and he just had big feet and big hands, basically. He didn't have any fur, blue fur, flu skin, or anything like that. And we got Cyclops. And we got Iceman. He was just, he was just ice, snow, whatever. He had no costume, no nothing. And we have Marvel Girl, which is Jean Grey's uh, original alter ego. But now she just goes by Jean Grey, I think. And we have Mimic. He he was able to copy the powers. I gave him the. I think he has the beast hands, right? Yeah, his hands are slightly huge. Doesn't really look that huge, but yeah, he got the beast hands. He got the Cyclops type visor and face, and then uh, angel wings. And we got Professor X. So he is in a wheelchair in this one because that's based on the comics one. In the but then in the X Men nineties animated, he has like a sci-fi looking yellow uh mobile chair kind of thing yeah not a wheelchair <laughs> and we got colossus uh one of the different versions of colossus uh from the comic books and he, we're here we got the Iceman, where he actually has some kind of co i guess he doesn't have a costume there either but he actually ha you can actually see facial features and stuff like that because the original one he was just snow. He had no face. And then here we got the Go team, which is closer to the the X Men '90s cartoon version of Jean Grey. Very nice looking. And again, uh, Storm, the which is uh, pretty similar to the comic one. I mean, it is the comic one, the Go team one. But yeah, I think uh, the. The 90s cartoons was based on the Go Team costumes. It's not like 100% the same, but it's pretty close. And here we got another version of the Psylocke. The X-Men change the costumes all the time. This one that says post Genosha. I don't even know what that means, but I wrote down. <laughs> Here's a post Genosha Wolverine. And we got uh, X-Men Second Genesis Cyclops. I don't even know what that means. But I think that's right after first class. So that's when they updated the costume a little bit. And this is Storm's original costume. Very nice, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know why they didn't give her an actual X-Men costume at first. But yeah, some characters, they don't get the X-Men costume. Whatever. Yeah, I don't think Storm ever has. Like the, Yeah, her Storm, Storm's costume is always unique. I don't know if she ever actually gets official like X-Men themed uh, costume. Which is more similar. Because everyone, you, they usually have like the same blue and yellow colors, right? But some, uh, Rogue doesn't have the mitre, I guess, now that I think about it. She has usually yellow and green. But she still has, kind of has it. But Rogue, uh, Storm doesn't really have it ever. She'll have some yellow on her costume, but that's it. But no, there's never any blue or... Right. And here's the Wolverine, the second Genesis. But that's, that's like the classic... I feel like this is the ex the Wolverine costume I see in a lot. And we're finally getting the Wolverine costume in the Deadpool movie. Finally. Jeez. It only took, what, like seven movies for him to finally wear the freaking costume? And we got a Lady Deadpool here. She's from the alternate universe. Maybe we'll see her in the movie someday. And you got Domino from the second Deadpool movie. Uh, Yeah, definitely... Uh, yeah, I, I, honestly, I, I wouldn't mind seeing all the, the, the actors from the, the Deadpool movies coming back. 
Is she gonna be in the third movie? I can't remember. I even though I seen the trailer a few times, but I only remember seeing Shatterstar for in like five seconds. But yeah, hopefully lots of more characters return. And here's Rogue versus a Sentinel. You can see I just drew this one today. Yeah. Rogue would definitely annihilate Sentinel. She's super strong. And we got Rasputin 4. I don't even, she's like a uh, she's related to, I, I was about to say Steel, she's related to Colossus for sure, you can see she has the, uh, she has the Steel body thing, and also the magic sword, so I guess, I don't know if she's, I, she's like descendant of Colossus and, Re and magic, uh, I don't know, I forgot, aren't they brothers and sisters, so I don't know, if she's one of their children or clone or something, something, but, uh, they're not even, she's not even from the 616 universe. It says TRN756. I don't even know if that's still up to date from 2019. They change the names of the Earth's universes all the time. Well, not all the time, but sometimes. But TRN means temporary reality number, so they might have changed it. But yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's been like four years. I don't remember her exactly, her backstory, but I just felt like she was pretty cool looking and drew her. But yeah, that's all. Well, yeah, that's pretty much all my X Men fan art. Definitely let me know down below if you want to see more X Men fan arts. Maybe we could do some, you know, crossover X Men versus Avengers, X Men versus Justice League, X Men versus Doom Patrol, etc. Or, you know, versus Invincible, versus Super Mansion, etc. There's so many comic franchises now besides just Marvel and DC. Uh, yeah, all right. Let me know down below if you like this video, you want to see more stuff like this, more compilations of my, all my old fan arts. All right, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.